Hey everybody, how y'all are? Yeah, I'm a little late with this No Dust Monday. Uh, sorry about that. But I really don't have a whole lot to talk about. I've been a little under the weather. And, uh, I don't know. Ain't done a whole lot. Don't know if I'm going to have a project up this week. Uh, a lot of it depends on the heat and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm not sure. Uh, but all I got to talk about is to show you my pro the, the prototype for the uh, rail topper. That was kind of one of those uh, necessities being the mother of inventions. I had I needed some way to hang rags that you use for you know they had any type of uh, like solvents on them or or uh, stains of that and I wanted to be able to dry out outside of the shop. Uh, you know, more as, a, as kind of like a flammable kind of thing. And I found that it was a good spot just to hang them right on the rail over there. And so I made a little rail hanger and uh, I kind of slapped it together and added some little pieces of shimming inside and all that just to get everything all, get it to all fit right. And it worked real good for a while. It just kind of the weather got to it. The uh, uh, the, the the clips on them came from another project, and they weren't designed to be out in the weather or to be getting wet and stuff like that. Whereas a regular clothespin that's used for you know laundry and stuff like that is is a little bit better at that. Another thing that I wanted to show you is one of my show you was pink. It didn't look too pink. This one looks a little better. Uh, I've had to put like 25,000 coats on it, but it's it's getting a little bit better. This is the one that's going to replace the original uh, because it's got the colors of the shop on it, and uh, I just needed one. And like I said, there were a couple of people that had shown interest in them, and so I made a few more, and they're going to get them soon. We're going to get them to you as soon as we can. Life is good. Oh, and then one more thing. I've been looking at some of the videos, and the thing that stuck in my mind was, man, that old man that only wears that one stinking gray shirt. Yes. Well, I'll be honest with you. That one stinking gray shirt is actually about three or four dozen of them. Uh, I worked for a, a uh, entity, let's leave it like that. And we were given these really nice fishing style shirts with the tags, with, with our emblem, the name, and all that stuff on them. And uh, we were on the field all the time. We were in grease, uh, we were in chemicals, we were doing all this kind of stuff. And it was really hard on those shirts. So we had decided that we got a half a dozen of those uh, nice, one, uh, nice ones. And then we were given a dozen a year, and then depending on the budget size, some years we got two dozen. Uh, of these t-shirts to wear as throwaways. If they got stained up real bad or you got chemical on them that you couldn't get out, stuff like that, you throw them away. Well, these things end up wearing better than the uh, dress shirts did. <laughs> so now I've got like tons of them. So yeah, that's a different shirt every time you see it. But it's probably uh, one that came from the same batch. Uh, I've got like some of those shirts actually I probably do for uh, Social Security because I've had them so long and they're wearing so well and I I can't see I've got some nice shirts and maybe I should start wearing nicer shirts when I'm going when I'm doing when I'm working in shop but I can't see that you know I, it's I'm working uh, okay I'm not working to make money or nothing but still it's like I don't want to get a stain on a on a nice Paul Harvey shirt or something like that, which I've got a few. And there's, these are so comfortable. Oh man, they're 100% they're cotton. You know, it's like the perfect thing. Unlike a lot of other people that do these YouTube videos, I don't stage anything. Uh, when I go in and, and I video what I'm doing, I try to set it up so that I video 
one portion or one part or, or, or like if I'm doing a multiple, like if I'm making like three or four or one things, I try to do one and build one thing in front of the camera so you can see how it works. Uh, if for example, let's say I'm making uh, a side of a cabinet and there's going to be two sides are going to be exactly the same, you'll only see one side done. But then the camera goes off, I build the other side, sometimes I build the back, oh, and, and then it goes back to building it again. I don't, I, I don't sit back and plan what I'm going to make or, you know, what, what point you're going to see here, you're going to see there. I just try to do, I want you to see as much of it as you can. If I screw up, you'll see that. A lot of times you see me, the aftermath of the screw up, but I will always make sure that I show that to you. Uh, if I do it on my own, hopefully I, hopefully I do the screw up on video because I think that makes better video myself, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, otherwise, that's all that's going on. Uh, it's still very, very warm here in, uh, by the Texas coast, and Texas toast, something like that. And I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what else to say because there's not a whole lot going on. I hope everybody has a fantastic day today. Uh, most probably this is going to come up kind of late because I'm having internet problems too on top of it. It's just one of those crazy no dust Mondays. So uh, anyway, I hope you all had a great day and uh, thanks for watching and I'll give you a little quick update. If I don't get together and get a, get a project out this week, I'm real sorry, but I will see you next Monday at the latest. See ya.